What is up, everybody? Ninja Nick here with Tactical Gaming, bringing you guys <laughs> a very much needed video because uh, I got this the Mars Testudo flip carrier from AR500. Now, that was when they were called AR500. Now, they're the Armored Republic. Now, I bought this because it was like the whole Space Force theme, Mars color, and all of that. And it came with some pretty nice stuff. Came with an IFAC, which I still use to this day at work. Um, I don't use this per se. I mean, it has plates in it. I use it mainly to exercise. Basically, wear it, walk around the house basically all day. Use it as like, you know, weights, lifting, all that kind of thing. But this thing I've had for four years, worn it consecutively quite a bit. At least every two days off and or anytime I'm at the house. So at least two to three days a week I wear this thing. And it has held up very, very nicely. Now, the plates I have in here are not AR-500 plates. These are actually uh, RTS tactical plates that I got in a tactical pack. That was like $250 like four years ago. So not too bad. Now, the review on this. Great material. So, the one thing I'll definitely give AR500 is they put a lot of detail in everything they give you. I'm not even kidding. Like, when it comes to the Molly, when it comes to the Cumberbuns, which is this thing right here. Right here, the front, Cumberbund. The Molly in the front, loops, all that. The shoulder pads, like, these are great shoulder pads. Like, really good shoulder pads. And they come off. Now, um... So, why would you want a big orange slash reddish plate carrier? Well, um, it'd be good for hunting. You can take the plates out, don't even have to have plates in it, and or you can have a front plate in there just in case, or a back plate just in case if you know you're hunting with someone who has an itchy tr trigger finger, which I mean, you never know, Dick Cheney. <laughs> but anyways... Safety color, so I mean, hey, if you're in a situation and it's really, really, really dark, here you go. Um, and it's not unheard of for certain companies to actually come out with carriers that are high vis style colors, like Safe Life. Safe Life has high vis yellow and a whole bunch of other kind of different colors, which is pretty nifty. I like it. But, anyways, four years it's taken me to do a review on this, and in all honesty, there's not much you can say other than the material's great, the loop is great, the stitching is awesome, the breathable material is really, really awesome. It's easily washed. Like, you can literally just toss this into, you know, a washing machine, which I don't suggest doing. I mean, you can, but I don't suggest it. I highly suggest if you're going to wash a carrier, put it in your shower, just Fill up the tub, let it soak for a little bit, right? Dry it out, put it into a very, very vented room. You know, something with a lot of airflow going on, or just out on your clothesline, something along those lines, anything like that. And it will dry. And make sure it's dry, because the one thing you do not want to do is like put on a wet plate carrier, because then you're going to be miserable and chafing badly. Think of it like. You know, the sand from the beach that gets into your shorts. That bad. Not good. So, don't suggest it. But anyways, like, the Velcro on this, still fucking good. Like, still good. Four years later, still good. The Velcro on all of it. Look at that. Like, this is still good Velcro. And I use it often. So, can't complain about it. And if you're a hunter or, you know, anyone who tends to spend a lot of time in the dark areas, like let's say you live in Alaska or you live in places where it's just really, really, really dark, but you want to go out hunting or, you know, fishing or anything else, here you go. Take the plates out, hook and loop and all that stuff that's on here, molly, whatever. You can put all sorts of goodies and gadgets and whatnot, doohickeys. All that stuff on here because I mean the Molly's insane and I mean hey you won't have to worry about people not being able to see you in the middle of the woods because <laughs> there's no hiding 
unless you're on Mars, then you, then then good luck, good luck. But yeah. So the whole purpose of me getting this was one, because I thought it was a cool idea, because I was like space wars, that shit's funny. And then uh, the other reason was I was like, well, I want more plate carriers. The color definitely does not go along with the area I'm in, <laughs> but at the same time. It gets really, really, really dark here, and if I need something to be worn and be seen very easily, here we go. But once again, I highly suggest this for hunters. Like, I really do. Now, granted, I don't suggest putting the plates in it if you're hunting, because that's a lot, a lot of hoofing and whatnot. And I mean, you're adding another 10, 15 to 20 pounds on you, depending on the plates you put in here. So, if you use this for hunting, I strictly just put all your like spare mags, dump bag, or maybe even just a section on here for like, you know, a backpack, mm -hmm. maybe a camo pouch, stuff along those lines. You know what I mean? But other than that, that's it for the review. Cause there's not really much to review. I still have all the other stuff when it comes to the mag pouches and all that. I still have all that, but because of the color, you can't really implement it into very much my other duty gear that I got. So I just have it. <laughs> but I do like to put it on here every so often to add into the weight which is another benefit because full mags and all that and then just lifting this fucker adds some more weight so that's another positive so yeah <laughs> four years I can't believe it and I actually rewatched the video because someone commented on that video said hey you haven't done a review on this yet I'm like oh shit I haven't and they looked at when I posted the video and how long it's been I'm like whoa four plus years that's a long time so, yeah, four years later. Thank you, buddy, for <laughs> commenting on that video because I probably would have forgotten because uh, I have school brain when it comes to certain things, and I post a lot of videos, a lot of different ones, political stuff, gaming stuff, gun stuff, basically anything that I find funny or something I find entertaining or irritating or anything else. I've been doing YouTube for 10 plus years. Don't get paid for this shit. Don't care. I just want to inform people. I honestly actually plan on getting Veilguard at some point to give an honest review, but I'm going to wait for it to either go down in price or it go into Game Pass. Probably Game Pass, because, uh, no. Just no. Playing Dragon Age and all those other games. Love the originals. But anyways, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. I do highly suggest you check out Armored Republic, and that's Armored Republic, not AR-500. Now, you can find them through AR-500, but it will pop up Armored Republic, so remember that. So, check them out. I'm not sponsored or anything. I have two of their carriers. Love them. I have a main carrier over here, which is my duty carrier, and then I have this one just for shits and giggles. I have a Spartan Armory one. I have RTS Tactical. Actually, no, I have three of these ones because one of them is also a concealment carrier, which is really, really nice also. That thing's tiny and light as shit. Love that thing. But anyways, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope this helps when it comes to getting AR-500 stuff and or if you're looking at the Mars carrier hunting and or because it's Space Force. But yeah. Later, guys.